Welcome to the MBS Engineering channel. Today, we will be discussing the below topics. First topic, what is a chain drive? Next, the second topic is how to calculate the speed of a chain drive and understand the concept of the speed ratio. We will cover these topics in the upcoming slides. Next, we learn about the function or purpose of the chain drive. The first point is that chain drives are commonly used to transfer power between two components that are located at a greater distance. However, they may also be used for shorter distances. Next, the second point, chain drive is a mechanical power transmission system that uses chains to transfer power from one place to another. A typical chain drive consists of two or more sprockets in the chain itself. Next, the third point is that the holes in the chain links fit over the sprocket teeth. When the prime mover rotates, the chain wrapped in the shaft sprocket rotates with it, applying mechanical force onto the driven shaft and transmitting mechanical power in the process. Next, the fourth point is that one of the main advantages of a chain drive is that it maintains a constant speed ratio. Please refer to the construction of the chain drive for better understanding. First, let's learn about the chain drive speed ratio formula. It is represented as T1 multiplied by N1 is equal to T2 multiplied by N2. Where, N1 is the speed of the small sprocket. N2 is the speed of the large sprocket. T1 is the number of teeth in a small sprocket. T2 is the number of teeth in a large sprocket. The sprocket rotational speeds are represented by N1 and N2 and are measured in revolutions per minute RPM. Next, let's understand how to calculate the speed of a chain drive using the speed ratio formula. For this, we need to consider the following data as per the snaps. N1 is the speed of the small sprocket, 1500 revolutions per minute. T1 is the number of teeth in a small sprocket, 25. T2 is the number of teeth in a large sprocket, 50. N2 is the speed of the large sprocket, unknown. Let's learn about the chain drive speed ratio formula. It is represented as T1 multiplied by N1 is equal to T2 multiplied by N2. Inserting the known values into the equation. We can solve for N2. Next, 1500 revolutions per minute into 25 equals N2 into 50. Solving for N2, we get N2 equals 1500 revolutions per minute multiplied by 25, obtained value divided by 50, then N2 equals 750 revolutions per minute. Therefore, the speed of the large sprocket is 750 revolutions per minute. We hope this video has helped you understand what is the chain drive, purpose of the chain drive and how to calculate the chain drive speed. If you have any queries, feel free to let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.